Ufuk, that is it. It's up. It's all over. How are you feeling? Yeah, still uh, a little bit disappointed from the result uh, against Adelaide, but uh, unfortunately life goes on. What do you take out of that game? Um, and, 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 you know, do you honestly believe that you're, that the team was better than its sixth place finish, better than that result against Adelaide? Uh, look, I think uh, our last few games uh, put us in that position, uh, to be honest, the results. So, uh, look, making the top six was very important. Uh, the finals football is always about uh, moments, and I think there was two moments that... Uh, we weren't good at, and uh, the opposition uh, capitalised on those two moments. Is this a better side than the than the league table said? I think we are. I think we are a better team. Uh, I think those last uh, those games where we didn't get the results, I think we're a better side than uh, where we where, where we where we ended up. Well, what do you put it down to? If you could list, you know, a list of pros and cons, or or things that went well and disappointments throughout the season, what would they be? I think as those moments, I think if you look back at the season where I think they, I think uh, Western Sydney was the only game that we didn't score in. Uh, I think there's a lot of games where we started off well uh, and got ahead and then we've allowed teams to uh, get back into, uh, into the games and we gave up a lot of points, uh, I think, this season from those moments. The goal difference at the end of the regular season was minus six, conceding a lot more goals than you'd scored, or six more goals than you'd, you'd scored. How much of a concern was that? Is that the reason that you think that the team only finished where it did? Yeah, well, that's right. If, you, if you're losing games and you're conceding more goals than you're scoring, then uh, you're not winning games. Uh, so for us to, I think those last uh, five weeks before MacArthur, uh, we conceded too many goals, and that's why we ended up where we ended up. In terms of getting into the playoffs, I mean, it's been a great record, four out of five seasons, but it's always that first hurdle, isn't it? What does the team need to be able to jump that and to go further? Well, the thing is, uh, the reality is, I think my first season here, uh, due to COVID, we weren't able to play a, a home final. Uh, I think the team needs to get themselves in a, we need to get ourselves in a higher position to be able to have that opportunity to have that advantage of playing at home. Uh, playing away from home uh, in finals is never easy uh, at the end of the day, uh, especially playing against a team like Adelaide where the support is fantastic and it's a great, fantastic atmosphere for them. Uh, I think the, the higher you finish on the table, the better advantage you get to, to be able to play a game at home. Do you feel that any of those teams above you are that much better than the Phoenix? No, I believe my t uh, team is a great team uh, at the end of the day, uh, but uh, you've got to turn that into results on the park and Unfortunately, we didn't against Adelaide uh, on Friday night. So, uh, look, the capabilities there, the qualities are, are there within the squad. Uh, the only thing is we need to make sure that, uh, that we get the results in the park. I mean, you've only had a couple of days, but have you spent any time at all just reflecting on the whole time that you've spent? Uh, not yet. I don't think it's hit me as yet. I've been too busy uh, trying to organise stuff and organise the, 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 the house and uh, where I am at the moment. So I haven't had time to really reflect on uh, the season itself. Uh, this morning we had a bit of a catch-up with all the players uh, just to say sort of like well done and our goodbyes but uh, other than that having a chance to really reflect on how the season went. Does it feel to you deep down though that your whole experience has been a good one at the Phoenix? Definitely. Uh, there's a lot of moments to grow. Uh, we've had a lot of challenges uh, being thrown at us uh, as a club uh, and as individuals as well. Uh, you know, there's a lot of moments for, for growing and understanding uh, what you need to focus on at times and control what you control and the other stuff uh, becomes irrelevant. So we've been in that situation for two seasons, uh, obviously being uh, based abroad in Australia. Uh, but look, I think there's a lot of uh, learning moments uh, from the games as well uh, that we play. So I think it's been a fantastic experience for me and I'm, and I'm very glad that I had the opportunity to... Uh, work at his club and, and be the head coach at Wellington Phoenix for four seasons. Well, Fuktalo with us, and this is wrapping up his tenure as Phoenix coach, sixth place finish and a first round loss to Adelaide. What have you learned both about yourself and about yourself as a coach in the last few years? Yeah, well, well one thing that I've become is a lot more empathetic towards uh, individuals, I think, especially the circumstances that we've been through. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things that were... Uh, uncontrollable at times but one thing we tried to focus on was uh, what we do uh, at training and what we do uh, on the weekend uh, to get the outcome that we needed to do so 
you know, there's a lot of uh, fires that sometimes you need to put out as a head coach and you just need to uh, recognise which ones are the most important to deal with and which ones aren't. So, you know, there's been a lot of moments, uh, you know, dealing with individuals, uh, you work in a group uh, environment, you know, dealing with your staff, dealing with your players, uh, you know, dealing with expectations. So, you know, for me, uh, being in this role has, has given me a lot of growth. Are you, are you calmer now? Are you more uptight as a person? I mean, I just want to know if you've noticed any kind of personality changes. Because it's, <laughs> no, ta- it's no, such I'm, a... I'm sort of same. The, the, game is, the game is different. The, the game is different. When we're in game mode, probably a different person. But uh, off the park, uh, probably the same person. I haven't changed. Uh, I still think I'm a nice guy off the park, the best uh, person I can be. I still love to, to help people. And I think, you know, my time here, my tenure here at the club, I've given... Uh, 22 debuts to to players and provide opportunities and pathways for for players to uh, you know to to live out their dreams if they uh, this is what they want to do become uh, footballers and, and work in this profession so you know I think I've developed people around me uh, I've developed the coaches around me and then we see that with uh, the appointment of uh, Giancarlo as well at the Phoenix so you know I think uh, my time here is not just been just trying to get results at the same time but I think. You know, when the jersey was handed to me uh, when I first come in, I think the jersey is in a better place as I leave. Well, that's all you can. Ho- that's all you can hope for, isn't it? That you know, and 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 and, and that's you know, without with um, sorry, with through all aspects of life, that you leave whatever you're doing in a better place. Yeah, definitely, I don't hope for. It. I think it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, I think it's it's happened in my time here. I think uh, there's a lot more expectation uh, within the club of 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 how to play the game, and a lot more expectation in the club of of getting results and then a lot more expectation of, of playing finals football. You know, my four seasons here, uh, we've, we've made the finals three times and the, the next step for, for Chiefy is to take the team to another level and go uh, beyond what we've achieved in my time here. See, the reason I ask you those questions is because it's such an all-encompassing, demanding job. I mean, do you get a, you know a chance throughout the season to be anything else other than the coach of this team when you are coaching? Oh, I get to be a dad when I go home with my with my kids. <laughs> That's probably the only time. Uh, the reality is, football is twenty four seven. It doesn't stop. Uh, as a coach, you're always thinking on how can we improve things, how can we make things better, how can we make the individuals better to get the outcome on the weekend that we need. Uh, unfortunately, uh, football has been my life for thirty one years uh, as a, as a player and as as a coach. And this is something that I live and breathe, and I love. Uh, you know, love going and, and doing out there. I can't play the game anymore. I wish I could play the game. Uh, the body doesn't allow it, unfortunately. But uh, you know, you get your your you know your fix of football when you see the development of players around you and the growth of uh, people around you. As far as the fans go, you've been such a favourite. There must be such a buzz as well. I mean, I know that you know you've, your your job's on the pitch with the team, obviously, but you also want to earn favour and you also want to be loved. I mean, everyone wants to be loved, but you want to be loved by those people who pay the money, don't you? Yeah, definitely. Look, I always say this, uh, football uh, is entertainment. Uh, you know, people uh, pay, pay their hard-earned money to come and watch the team play. And, and for me, they expect a certain brand and uh, and they want entertainment on the weekend. And, and mostly they want their team to win. Uh, so, you know, we try to implement a certain playing style uh, since I've been here and the way that we want to play and also try to win games at the same time. So the fans are very important. The support is very important. And I thoroughly enjoy their support in my time here, uh, even though we've been away for probably two seasons of the four that I've been here. Uh, but look, the fans play a massive role because without fans, there is no game. Who's going to win the comp from here? Uh, who's going to win the comp from here? It's a tough one because I think uh, Sydney are in good form at the moment. Melbourne City are always uh, up there to uh, challenge as well. And look, Central Coast have been good too in the last game that they played against uh, Adelaide. So look, it's going to be uh, very interesting uh, where it's going to end up. Well, look, thank you on behalf of all Phoenix fans. I'm sure that you've received a heck of a lot of that from uh, from the from the faithful and from Yellow Fever and things. It's been a, a hell of a ride, hasn't it, for four years? And Wellington will always have a very special place in your heart, I bet. Yeah, definitely. Uh, uh, Wellington uh, Phoenix will always be, uh, well, I'll say, my first love. Uh, they gave me my first opportunity, and I have a lot of gratitude toward this club to be able to give me my first opportunity to, to be a head coach. Uh, so for me, I'll always be watching from afar and uh, seeing how Chiefy and the boys go and the club moves forward. You've always been fantastic to deal with as well from this side of the microphone, and I thank you for that too. Uh, my pleasure, mate, any